All right, today we're going to be setting up a 2D and rotate here with the Fanic robot. I'm going to start by recording the home position in my program. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to give the robot an instruction to tell it to start searching. I'm going to press F1 instruction, go to an option called touch sensor. Press enter on touch sensor and select search start. Now it's asking for a value here. The first number here after search start is going to be your schedule number for your touch. So I'm using touch schedule number three. For a PR, I'm going to use PR number 17. What I'm going to do now is get the robot into position for my search. So bring the robot down into position here for my search. I'm going to record a point. I'm going to make it a J motion with a fine termination. Now I'm going to record another point in the exact same location. However, this point is going to be a linear motion with a fine termination. I'm going to change the position ID number to match the previous position ID number. It's important to have two points at the exact same location in space when teaching touch sensing. The first point is your robot to get to that location. The second point is your robot searching for that location. To put the instruction in for the robot to search, cursor to the end of the line, one point past fine, press F4 choice and go to an option called search. It's going to ask for a direction. In this example here, we're going to have the robot search towards me, which is Y plus. So I would select Y plus. What we're going to do now is move the robot into position for the second Y direction search. I'm going to record two points at this location. Again, the first point is the robot getting there. And the second point is the robot searching from there. I'm going to change the position ID numbers to match. I'm going to cursor to the end of the line, one point past fine. Press F4 choice and select search. Again, we're coming towards me, so I'm going to select the Y direction point. After that, I'm going to bring the robot up to a safe location away from the part. This is just going to be an air motion. And now I'm going to bring the robot down into position for the other direction for my search. In this example, the part can move in the X and Y and rotate. So I brought the robot into position. I'm going to record this with a J motion with a fine termination. And I'm going to record another point in the exact same location. However, this point will be a L motion with a fine termination. And I'm changing the position ID number to match the first point. Again, you want one point to get there and the second point in the same location to search from there. Cursor to the end of your line. Press F4 choice and select search. This example, I'm going to search X minus. So I'd select minus X. That's my first X. Now I'm going to teach my second X. So I'm going to bring the robot down to position for my second search. I'm going to record two points in the same location. I'm going to change the position ID numbers to match. And I'm cursoring to the end of the line, one point past fine, press F4 choice and select search. Now I'm going to search in X minus. Now, a 2D with rotate requires two searches in two different search directions. I have two in the Y and I have two in the X. I'm going to tell the robot to stop searching. F1 instruction, go to an option called touch sensor and select search end. What I'm gonna do now is move my robot into a position away from the part, and I'm gonna record this with a J motion. Now the next motion points I'm gonna record are my approach, my weld start, my weld end, and my escape point. At any point, if my part were to move, I would like those points to move with my part. To give the robot that instruction, press F1 instruction, Go to touch sensor, F1 instruction, touch sensor, and select touch offset. I'm going to use PR17, and now I'm going to teach my program like normal. I'm going to bring the robot down to my approach or my weld start. I'm going to record my weld start. I'm going to bring the robot to my weld end. I'm going to record my weld end. I'm going to bring the robot to an escape point. 
I'm going to record that. After I recorded those points, I'm going to send the robot back home. Before I send the robot back home, I'm going to tell it to stop offsetting my points. I don't need to shift my home position. To stop the offset, press F1 instruction, go to touch sensor, and select touch offset end. I'm going to record another point, change the position ID number to one to send the robot back home. I'm going to verify that my touch schedule is set properly. I am set for a 3D shift and rotate. I want to change this to a 2D shift and rotate. I verified my master flag is turned on. Everything is set properly in my schedule. And now I'm going to run my program. Adjust my speed and run the program. Now the first time I execute the program, the master flag is turned on so the robot learns the location of the part. It's going through the touch, it did my Y direction, and now it's doing my X direction. It's done with the search, and now it's gonna go down the program path that we just taught. Once this program is complete, I'm gonna go into my master flag in my touch schedule, and I'm gonna turn that to the off position. The first time we execute the program, we have the master flag on, so the robot can learn the location of the part. The second time we run the program, we turn the master flag off. It's always a good practice to run the program with the master flag turned off before moving the part. This way, if there is any issue with your program, you do not have to touch up your points. So this is the first time we're running the program with the master flag turned off. The robot's gonna run down its top path. And when this program's complete, we're gonna shift the part in two different directions as well as rotate it. And you're gonna see how the 2D with rotation works for touch sizing. Program's complete. I'm gonna move the part in X and Y and rotate the part. Now I'm gonna run the program again. Do not turn the flag back on. If you turn the flag back on, you could compromise your program points in your program. The robot is going through the program. It touched in Y, it's touching in the second X direction now. It's gonna compare that data to the original taught position. And you'll see now the robot travels down the path that it was taught, following the new orientation of the part. This is how a 2D with rotation works with a FANUC cobot.